It is now time to meet the top 10 drivers in this year's final NASCAR Sprint Cup Series point standings. Suffice to say, this is an elite group of competitors. Our 10th place finisher was in first place for most of what has become known as the regular season, meaning the first 26 races. His victory at Atlanta in the spring provided Toyota with its landmark first win in NASCAR Sprint Cup competition. He ended the year with a driver rating of 103.9, third best in the series. NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, 10th place. Kyle Busch. Here comes Kyle Busch, looking for his first ever win in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. my eyes, I've come a long ways, you know, not just necessarily from the beginning of my career, or my beginning of racing, but, um, you know, just here in this past year, I think I've come a long ways as well. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce our number one draft pick for the number 18 car beginning in 2008. Thank you, Butter. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Eminem. The remarkable year of Kyle Busch continues tonight. Hell of a job, Kyle Busch. That was all you, baby. I don't think we were necessarily surprised at the success this year. We were grateful for it and uh, happy that we were having it. They can keep trying to play these mind games. We'll just keep on winning. The biggest one probably, though, is Atlanta. It was Toyota's first win, my first win with Joe Gibbs Racing, Steve Addington's first win. And so it was a lot of milestones with that win. Please welcome driver of the number 18 M&M's Toyota from Las Vegas, Nevada, Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch raced to 21 wins this year in NASCAR's three national series. Well, this is uh, certainly something that I didn't think would be going, I'd be going first tonight, but uh, when the chase started, we sort of had some problems. But they saved the best for last in this format, and tonight that spot was reserved for Jimmy and Chad and Mr. H. And, the whole Hendrick Motorsports team, and congratulations to you guys on not only a year well done, but the past three years well done. So uh, maybe one of these days you'll actually let someone else back up here. Uh, Jimmy, you know, you've taught me several lessons being a teammate of yours for the past few years, and I didn't quite master closing out the season the way that you and Chad can. And you're sitting there, and I'm down there again. And uh, it, I guess it just shows I still have some lessons to learn. So hopefully I can figure that out soon. And, you know, I won't lie and say that I'm not disappointed with the way our season ended. And it's my goal to get to the head table very soon. But our year was still special. We had eight wins. The restrictor plate victories at Talladega and Daytona. The sweeping the road courses. And the, uh, the Jimmy, um, you, remember, you remember, remember Chicago? Yeah? Man, that was, that was awesome. <laughs> awesome. All right. I'm so proud of Steve Addington and all the 18 guys for their hard work and their sacrifice in making this such a special year. I'm also so thankful for Pam and Victoria Mars and putting their faith in me when it seemed everyone else has thought I'd run out of chances. I took great pride in returning M&Ms to Victory Lane and getting your colors into the chase. You're a great sponsor, a great company, and truly some of the most understanding people that I've met. You know, thanks to William Clements and Phil Greco as well for their constant encouragement and support. I'd also like to thank the France family, all of the NASCAR employees, and of all of our partners at Toyota, Sprint, Snickers, Pedigree Combos, Sunoco and Goodyear, M&M's, NOS Energy Drink, Electric Visual, and all the fine folks at Kyle Busch Motorsports for making this happen. Special thanks to Norm Miller and Interstate Batteries. Man, I wish Norm was with us tonight. He's uh, always good for a few laughs, and I don't know if I scared off a few people at my table, but I got two open seats, so I'm wondering where they went. <laughs> Being able to bring Norm back to Victory Lane at Daytona was, uh, was pretty special, and to see those green 18 colors back, back there, it was uh, a lot of fun. So I've got to thank Coach and JD and everybody back at Joe Gibbs Racing. You know, they, they really... They really took me in and made me feel like family this year, and I appreciate those guys for being able to do that. We certainly have built a great foundation, and it's owed to each of you at the shop for digging in 
in being able to, uh, you know, get me up here tonight. But uh, ultimately, it's my goal to get you up here one time, or hopefully more than once. I'd also like to say a special thank you to Sam Ard and all the drivers who have helped build this sport to what it is today. Richard Petty, Dale Earnhardt, David Pearson, Kelly Yarbrough, many more, many others that uh, are less famous than those. And we can do more to say thank you to the pioneers and show them our appreciation. And so finally, I'd like to thank the fans that sacrificed so much to be a part of our sport and spending your hard-earned money and braving the elements and letting me know in your own special way that you pull for me. You know, sure, some of them have a, a different way of telling me I'm number one. <laughs> Richmond night race comes to mind. I, I, they were just reminding me I was back to number one in points, so I thought it was cool. But uh, at the end of the day, I appreciate you guys too. So, uh, Tony and, and you going on and doing what you're doing next year, good luck. <laughs> have fun. Ask, have you talked to Jeff Gordon about that yet? All right, well, good luck to you and all of your things that's going on next year. And, uh, and Denny, thanks for being a great teammate this year. Really enjoyed working with you guys and the whole 11 FedEx team. And so with that, happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everybody. Enjoy the new year. And at least we've got some extra off time until we get back to Daytona. So proud of that. <laughs>